before the video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that there is some exclusive content being featured in this video that hasn't been released yet to the public, so I highly recommend that you watch the entire video through because nobody has really seen this yet. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there, and thank you for watching. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Starkler coming at you with a second episode of the Toontown Offline episode series. Uh, I guess this is the last one because there's only two episodes. Um, in the first one we did the prologue, now we're going to do short work. And there are actually three different endings to this from what I've seen and done. So let's just do this, uh, hopefully I can get this to work out well. So, ever wonder what it's like to live life as a cog? Well now you can venture the hallways of a... I, what, a cog high rise as a level 1 short change. And I believe they updated the intro for this as well, so. Yeah, brand new intro. This is what it's like to be life, living life as a cog. The story begins in one of the cog headquarters, a place, what, ridden with trains and greasy cash bots. Oh, better clean those cash bots. A level 1 short change had just finished up a hard day's work in a cash bot cog high rise. What's he doing sitting up there? Did the lights change color? What did this let's see. What did this day have in store for our level one short change? Let's find out. So this is us up deep in the high rise. So yeah, uh, this is our little office that we're staying in. I think it looks nice. I like the boxes that are placed on top of the books. I think that's pretty funny. And you can jump. You can jump. So that's nice. Just our tiny little office. And then we got this. I don't, I don't know what's in that photograph. Is that supposed to be money? Is that a coin? I don't know. Then we got a safe. Oh, oh it is 3D. Okay, yeah, it's a 3D safe. Alright, cool. Uh, two second elevator. Okay. And then we got a nice little hallway here. And you can go back up the elevator if you want to, but I'm not sure why you would. Oh, look at this. I still have tune tasks and I have gags. As a cog, I have gags. The irony. Oh. Now, I would go up this elevator, but in order to get the best ending, you're not supposed to go up this elevator first. So we actually have to go into the restroom, and we will see what's in there that we need to take care of. We have our oil change. Alright, so this is the bathroom. I believe in you're in the wrong office. Oh no, who is it? A cog! Or if that's what the dog's saying. You're about to be shorted! Oh no, we're gonna get shorted. Okay, so we got four little gags here that we can use to attack the dog. So let's start with... Let's use a water cooler. Oh, I forgot the tune attacks first, of course. Okay, so they're gonna squirt us, and we're gonna squirt them back. Okay, so we did two damage. Alright, so we're probably gonna wanna do... That does three damage. Let's use the bounce check. And we won. I think. Yeah, we won. Oh, and we get our cog bucks. Man, imagine a cog being that successful in game to defeat like 40 tunes or something just for a promotion. I believe a promotion is in order. Yeah, I bet. You know, I kind of like how so how there's a few reused assets in here because I know that's probably how the game should be, and I like it. I like the sinks, the windows, the urinals. Except we need to use the step ladder. Oh, we're peeing. 
being oil. That reminds me of the fountain at Boss Bot HQ on rewritten. You can make it look like you're peeing. What a relaxing oil change that was, of course. Alright, let's step on out of here. So I have actually run into a small problem. Uh, every time I try to leave the restroom in short work, the game crashes. And I can't even relaunch the game at all anymore, so I tried restarting my computer, uh, replayed through the whole chapter again, and guess what? I still cannot leave the bathroom without crashing, and then after the game crashes, I can't get back on it, so I have to restart my computer again. So, the only way for me to finish this first best ending is by watching it here on YouTube so you guys can see it, so... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to credit the video in the description, but yeah, this is the rest of short work. Can't believe that's happening to me. So I'm watching footage right now, just so you guys know. This isn't my footage. So yeah, you just leave the bathroom and then you go down. And pretty much everything looks the same. I think the only difference is, like, the sign on the wall. I think that's the only difference. It's pretty interesting. It's nice that they have custom text for every single cog that you interact with. Just look at that eagle. He's stare what he's staring me down like a hawk. Pretty scary, right? Typical lawbot. Yeah, don't ever think you're above the law. Because when you try to run from it, they'll catch you. So yeah, the sign on that board is always different, but... Yeah. It's a level 50 cog. That's pretty cool. Yo, what are there other cog types doing here? I like the cutscene format. I think that's cool. Are you looking to get a pink slip, Mr. Short Change? Who's that? Mr. Pencil Pusher. What's that pencil pusher doing? Why is it shadow like inside of its like chest area? Oh no, the CEO was defeated. Well then. I suppose it's time to get my promotion. I like that. That's like story-based content. Alright, well that is it for that, I guess. Um, okay. So the second ending that you can get for short work is a very simple and easy one that I believe many people have probably gotten unintentionally, and that is where you actually get destroyed by the tune that's in the restroom. And this is very, very easy to do because the tune simply just needs to hit you twice with, with two gags successfully. And basically, either you don't kill the tune in time, or uh, you let the timer go down, or your gags miss, your cog attack gags miss. One way or another, the tune hits you twice with either a cupcake or a squirting flower, and you're doomed. So let's just use let's just use 
one gag and let the dog destroy us. Alright, so we got hit once. Now all we need to do is get hit a second time. Um, again, I'm actually really, really surprised that the tune did not attack me first or like whenever I used a couple of attacks because usually that happens like every like first turn or every second turn so I was pretty surprised that nothing happened but here we go again and just like that we've been defeated so this is a very common ending to get just destroyed right there in the bathroom and so, Professor Gufa managed to defeat the short change with only a couple level 1 gags. The end. And just like that, it's over. That is it. Yeah. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go straight forward to the third ending, and then that will wrap this all up. Alright, so the third ending is where you just go straight to the big cheese without even going into the bathroom at all. You simply just skip it. You don't fight the tune, you don't do anything, you just go straight from your office all the way up to the big cheese. And basically, what happens in this sequence that makes it different from the original, uh, going to the bathroom, fighting the tune and winning, getting the promotion, it's that you don't have the promotion, so you're just sitting there as a level 1 cash bot, approaching this level 50 big cheese. So here we are, talk to my assistant. Ahem, what do you want, short string? A promotion? Hmm, your name suits you well. Your short temperedness can't escape even this fine establishment. I believe a demotion is in order for disturbing your executive. You can barely see it there, but I'm. Yep, there he goes. We haven't proven ourselves. And so, the Big Cheese demoted the short change right on the spot for his outrageous disturbance. He had nothing to prove. The end. And just like that, it's over. So yeah, that is it actually for uh, short work. That's all three of the endings. I again, I apologize for right away at the start. I could, I don't know what it was that was making the game bug out like that. It's uh, it's frustrating. I wish I could understand what it was that made it so that I couldn't leave the bathroom and go onwards you know why do i have to restart my computer for that i don't know but you know what if toontown offline fixes this then maybe i'll make an updated version of it and hopefully they make more episodes because all we have is the prologue and short work so hopefully we get something but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching all right we have made it to the fun part the exclusive new content that Toontown Offline has presented me forward. Reminder, this has not been seen by anyone else at all in the public yet, except for just me, so uh, I'll try to give my best little response and review to this as possible. So, this is what they have given me. It is a picture that appears to have a blueprint and a message and a few other things attached to it, so I'm just going to go through it one piece at a time and then I'm gonna to explain to you some of the lore that was also provided to me for this picture and try to word it in my own sake so the background appears to be some cog buildings obviously blurred out because it's just the background but then we also have this little picture with a what appears to be a red structure sort of off to the side uh, not too sure if it's supposed to be a building or not or if it's maybe a vehicle or something but the picture is mostly obstructed for a reason so we just kind of have to guess what exactly we think that is and then at the very center of it all we have a blueprint for what appears to be a brand new cog building. Not really an HQ from what it looks like, but clearly it's what they call the solution, which is actually going to go into the lore of the story as to why this building exists, which I will get into later. So on the top of it, it says efficient. Then in the middle, it says timely. And then a little bit further down to the bottom, it says expansive. 
very interesting and then at the very bottom of it it says diversion and the whole building itself looks quite nice I like the elevator at the very bottom that you know obviously goes up probably to the very top of the building which has eyes on it which is nice I like the little screw in the center of it that kind of I don't know it looks like a like a bolt or something just drilled into its forehead a little comical and then the top of the building I kind of admire the curvature at the top of it going inwards towards like the pointy center of it it just kind of reminds me of real life so to speak so I think that's good and that's it for the blueprint um, and then last we're gonna read the message and this is from the chairman it says two all cogs from the chairman and I'm going to read the message out loud so it says message the invasions we plan to counteract that wretched meter have been nothing but failure it will not st I will not stand for this we need to counteract this with more expansive measures quotation marks I've included a few new blueprints below with a new plan that would buy us some time quotation marks the tunes will no longer consider this a laughing matter I will send another directive let's see soon with orders get back to work so that's interesting we also have a little message that comes from the chairman themselves so going into the lore aspect of this in my own words to try to describe this to those who don't know what this is which was <laughs> which is pretty much everyone the storyline is that basically the cogs have been having trouble keeping up with everything new and great that the tunes of Toontown have been producing because Toontown has become more alive than ever. We got the silly meter, we got new playgrounds, we have all these new things to help us combat the cogs, but the cogs don't have anything to combat them back and this is what the cogs are trying to do by creating a seemingly endless cog building with infinite floors that could just drain all the silliness out of the tunes that go into it and basically what they're trying to do is sort of reverse engineer what to the tunes have done so instead of the tunes making like infinite happiness the cogs are trying to create infinite sadness with boredom endless floors you just go into there and it's pretty much what i would consider it to be probably a death trap because it's infinite floors but that is pretty much all there is to this special little sneak peek apparently the cogs think that this is the ultimate solution to draining all the silliness out of the building so I'm not too sure if this building can be taken down or not there really isn't a whole lot to this except all we know is that this is what the cogs are using now to try to combat the tunes so yeah that's pretty much it um, I want to thank Toontown Offline for reaching out to me about this after they saw the video I made on the prologue which if you haven't seen that yet you should go and see that because that's um, I believe that might get a new update in the future maybe not too sure but it might update again and this feature I believe will probably release uh, well I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not so I'm just gonna stay quiet on that but it probably will release soon um, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh, it's been your boy Starkler coming at you thank you Toontown Offline for providing this again uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. And don't forget to join the Discord server. We can always use some more members. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And peace out.